Awesome. So today I want to talk to you about resistances. So resistance. Now this just because it rhymes doesn't mean it mean it's true. I'm a, I'm a big advocate of anything that rhymes has to be true. But today is really whatever is going to persist is it, it, whatever you resist is going to persist. And this is such a truth. And we're going to talk about constraints. But what I see in a lot of people as they're trying to create something new is they actually resist their old identity. They actually say it's bad. I don't want it. I don't want to be that. Instead of forgetting about it and creating something new, they actually put a negativity towards what they don't want. Does this make sense? They say it's bad. So they, they can't make the cold call, so they scold themselves. Does that make sense? They, they, they feel shy or nervous before a public talk, and so they resist it. And in the nature of resisting feeling embarrassed or shy, guess what? They build energy in it, and it turns into a panic attack. Can everyone see that that's possible? By resisting what's actually going on, the worry actually causes it to happen. And so I see this and I notice this. I know so myself when I was going through a lot of change is it's like a pendulum. If you push against it like a swing, you see pushing a, a, a child on a swing. If you stop pushing, guess what happens? The swing stops going, it dies out. The kid looks at you like, come on, push it. Same as a pendulum. It needs an energy force to push it so it keeps going. Now, this is the same with anything we try to really resist, actively resist, like a negative emotion, like, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. I don't want that to happen. We actually are giving it energy. Can everyone type in a yes just so I know you've got it? We're giving it energy by resisting it. And this is so important to understand is we actually can flip this and not resist it. But resistance is actually going to cause ourselves a problem by, by doing that. And so whatever you, whatever you give energy to, you will create. So wherever you put energy, even what you call negative energy, whatever you put energy, that breathes life into it, just like the swing. If you stop giving it energy, it stops having any energy. It stops living. It has nothing there. And so a lot of us, I want you to think about some things that you might resist, some things that you're not allowed, not allowed to be okay. Because while you still have that resistance, it still has energy in your life. I'm going to share something pretty personal, but, it, but I think it's important. When, when Dee died, my, my business partner, uh, three years ago, and my business fell apart. The big benefit I got is I failed. Personally, I believe that I had failed. My business fell apart. I didn't have the right structures in place. I ended up in debt. And I remember sitting there thinking to myself, hmm, so this is what failure is like. This is what it feels like. And I can still remember the exact moment I went, wow. Oh, it's not so bad. I'm still breathing. Still got a beautiful wife. Still got a beautiful. Still got a great mind. I just I remember the moment when I when I literally stopped resisting failure. And it was it was such a big gift. And now I think there's a there's so much in that when you finally drop the resistance to things that you you know resisting looking bad, or resisting failure, or resisting going broke, or all these resistances that we don't even see as resistances, but they build up, don't they? Because before that, there's no way I would have failed. I was like, let's go. You know, for a $4 million business, $5 million business, I was like, go, go, go. There's no way I'd let fail. Now, failure doesn't mean anything to me. You can't, you, you know, you'll never, I don't think in my life, I'm ever going to be in a worse spot. And it is so freeing because I'm cool with it. Does that make sense? Like I've already been there. It was all right. And I keep going. Does this make sense? Let me know if it makes sense because we have these resistances that we're so resisting, we don't even know that we're still giving them energy. We resist looking bad. We resist failure. We resist losing. We resist all, we resist judgment. We resist these things, but we don't think we have. They're like these unconscious little resistances that we're giving energy to. And the best way to put it is what are things that are just not okay to happen? What are things that are just not okay for you? Is it not okay to go broke? Not okay to be there for your kids? Not okay for this? Not okay. And the truth is this. The truth is this. Is you don't have to resist it 
in order for it not to happen. Hear that. You don't actually have to resist it in order for it not to happen. You don't have to be scared of it. A lot of us are scared of the negative consequences. Does this make sense? We're scared of the happening because <gasps> we haven't actually allowed ourselves to realize that it's not going to be the end of the world. And so we set up this unconscious thing where we resist it. You see, we resist it and we put this fear. And even though we wouldn't go there, even though we're not motivated by it, we would never let it happen. And so because of that, there's energy. Yeah, Kristen, giving energy. There's energy taken up just by it being there. If it wasn't a thing, if you didn't resist, oh, that'd be interesting if that happened. So another time in my life, I used to be so resistant to anyone that had a job. I used to be resistant. I was the freedom guy. It was all about that. No way ever, no way would I ever have a job. I'm this other guy over here, you see? And I resisted it so hard that it really, like there was no, there was no way I could do anything like it. And so I set up the structure that they did all sorts of other things. And so here's what I want you to really get. You're in control. And even though you think that there's things that, you know, you aren't resisting, there's things there, you truly are. And that's why you're truly not able to escape its orbit. You're truly not able to escape and to get into true success because you're resisting failure so much. You're truly not able to get love to the fullest because you're actually got a resistance to the opposite. And I want you to think about these as timelines of, of energy. They're on equal opposites. On this side is love, on this side might be loneliness. It's one vibration that you're on. Does this make sense? And so you're resisting this, but this stays alive. Instead of having no problem with that, just focusing here. Having no problem with it and just focusing. So today, we're going to be clearing some constraints and, uh, and talking about this. And I hope that you guys are excited because it's the perfect time to be doing it after quantum jumping. What I find after I do quantum jumping with people like I did last week, is we all start resisting that other thing. You see, we start going, can't have this, it can't be that. And so that creates just as much of a problem. So let's jump into this, shall we? Here's the first question, type it in, write it down, your answer to this question. What is something you would really, really like to create, but haven't yet? Write it down. What is something you'd really like to create or manifest, but haven't yet? Thanks, Christine. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> of course. Second, second question. Assuming you had that right now, how would you feel? <laughs> you're funny christine i love you you would nice yeah cool awesome 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 Remember, if you're typing in and you want to hear, see uh, if you want the other attendees to see what you're saying, just tick all attendees. A lot of you are just sending it in to me, but thinking others can see it. Yeah, nice, Ed. Fair enough. And how would it feel to have that? Next question. Compared to that, where are you now? Compared to that, where are you now? Fair enough. And how does it feel to be in this reality? 
Mm. Mm. How does it feel to be here? And so what we're doing now with that is we're setting up where you want to go and what that reality is, and then where you are now in this reality. Okay. And these are the these are the two realities that that are that are, exist right now in your mind. One you feel like you've experienced, one you would like to experience more of. Now there's no good reason why you can't have this one, the one that you desire. There's no good reason except the reasons that you've made up. You're talented enough, you're successful enough, you're sexy enough, you're happy enough. You you can have this now. There's no reason. There's no good reason except the reasons that we've made up, the unconscious patterns, the unconscious reasons. So here's the question. Why do you resist the current reality? Type it in. Why do you resist the current reality? Why is it not good enough? Why is it not, why is it not enough? How do you resist the current reality? Share with me. I'd love to know. Type in, how do you resist it? Why, why is this that we get that you have right now? Why is it not enough? I'll give you a minute, but type it in, please. Why do you resist this current structure? But why? Hmm. Who sees the resistance to the current? This isn't good enough. I can't be empty. I can't have no clients. I can't be wobbly and wishy-washy. I can't be here. Who can see at some level they've got a resistance to where they currently are? They don't want it. Let me know. Let me know. Who knows that they've got a resistance? Yeah, I'll only be accepted when I achieve this. Who, who's who, who doesn't think that where they are right now is good enough? Mm. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, right. Which, which, as you know, man, that you know, you and I both know logically that that's a, you know, we know that that's a construct, right? And we're resisting it, away, right? You know. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm not good at this. My house is. Yeah, got it. I'm seeing them all come in. Yeah. And so, so here's what's really interesting is there's no reason why what we have now isn't enough. You see, it's all made up. And so let's, let's really think about this. Right now, we're all talking to each other around the world. We've got people from the UK, Scotland, New Zealand, Germany, Australia, Perth, or Western Australia. We've got people all over the world on this. We have the coolest technology. And we find ourselves still going, you know, where I am right now isn't enough. And it's bred into us. It's huge. Literally 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, no money could buy what we have now. You know, who knows this, right? Like you can't, you couldn't buy it back then. And in 10 years, what, what the billionaires are able to access now, you know, we will all have access to. And so this is what's interesting. We see ourselves in this, this place where it's, you know, now it's not enough. We resist the now. We resist what we have. What are we sending out to the universe when we resist what we have now? What do we get more of? We get more of not enoughness. And we get more of it. True. And we have this fear. Who's got the fear? But Chris, if I was happy with everything I had now, where would my motivation be? True. Where would my motivation be? 
ah, if I was if I was where I wanted to be, how would I be motivated? And this is the core of what I want to talk about today, because most of us only create motivation based on 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 a resistance, even though we're slip free, even though we've thought our way through this and read enough books, we can understand we can talk ourselves out of it that we're not doing it. But the truth is, if you are not 10 out of 10 happy with it now, going, this is great. This is everything I want and I want more of it. You, we haven't got there yet. So let me ask you all a question. Just because you want something, just because you want something, does it come true? Can you close your eyes and want something and all of a sudden, if you just think it, does it just appear? Be a scary world, wouldn't it? If every uh, 15 and 16 year old running around had the power, just everything they said, I want this, I, every thought they had it manifested, it'd be pretty bad. So there's, there's no, there's no uh, scariness in desiring something and really going full out, is there? Because what truly manifests is a continued vibration and then a continued action. So what if I teach you and show you a process to completely remove your resistance to the now? Who would like that? Because it's a cool process. It's called the double bubble. We're going to have fun with it. And so here's how it works. We first go into what it is that we're resisting and we go full out to desire it. We go full out in our mind to desire it and we find reasons why it's better than what it is we think we desire now. So let me give you an example. Someone's broke. I get them to close their eyes. I get them to go into brokenness and really desire it and find out how cool it is to be broke. Oh, it's so great to be broke. I've got no responsibilities. I can hang out on the beach. I get given the doll. It's awesome. I don't have anyone that relies. I'm cool. I've got this. I've, I've got just enough. I get to spend so much time with my kids. Oh, if I was broke. I spent, if I didn't have a job or anything to do, I had so much time with my kids. And they go into wanting it so much that they remove all resistance. And then I swap and we go into the opposite. I want to be a millionaire and a millionaire. Like da, 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 and we go into this. And what happens by exploring both edges of both the resistance and the desire, we then come and want them both at the same time and it collapses it. It's really cool. So here's what you need to do. Yeah, no, no worries. Here's, here's, what, here's what we need to do is we need to go into what it is that we resist. Who's up for it, by the way? Your brain's going to think this is crazy, but the further that you play full out on this, the further that you play full out on this, the better it's going to, to go. So type in a yes. I'm going to wait till I get a 15 yeses on here. Um, if you're ready to go, and we're going to dive straight into it. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we might. You might come knocking on the door in the middle of it, Christine. <laughs> That's all right. I'll let you be excused if that happens. All right, cool. So I want you to think about your worst nightmare, the thing that you really don't want to happen. Like what would be a really the worst thing for you right now? And type it in. What would you really not want to happen? Like mine used to be going broke before I experienced it. What's the worst case for you? <laughs> he arrives and he's ugly. Thanks. Thanks, Christy. That, that's your worst case. I love your sense of humor. <laughs> but what's your worst case? Worst case is staying in the current. Staying in the current, right? The worst case is even going backwards. Anything that you resist, type it in. What's your worst case? Mine's got mine was going broke, but you know, being left by Harry, being single, being you know, all this that, that wouldn't that's I totally used to resist it all. Cool. There you go. Christine says, Oh, being single in 70. Got it. Cool. So when you're ready now, I want you just to close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes. And just send to yourself with a couple breaths.
And I'd love you just to choose your worst case. So choose to be single in 70. Choose to, choose to have no clients ever. Choose to, choose to just be absolutely no fun, all work and boring. Choose to never realize your potential. I want you to choose your worst case. And I want you to really desire it. I want you to go all in. I want you to play full out and say, I want this. I choose to have this as a result. And I want you to choose it and play full out with it. Just choose it. This is what I want. And as you choose it, I want you to find some good things about it. I was single in 70. I never had to compromise. Single in 70. Choose it and find some positivity. I never got any clients. No worries. I didn't have to, you know, I didn't have any pressure of delivering results. Choose it. And I want you to find as much positivity in this as possible. What's good about it? Oh, you go broke, you got more time with your kids, you rely on the doll, you hang out at the beach a bit more. Choose it. Choose to get nowhere, to stay exactly where you are. Just go, that's cool. And, and But want it this time, really want it. Like notice how great it is. Just, wow, cool. I say, right, we're here. At least I know how it works. No pressure. Now let's switch. Choose the opposite. Choose to have your dreams, the great relationship. Choose to play full out, choose to have the million dollar business, choose to have the clients, do the opposite. And as you choose it, notice how good it feels. But also I want you to notice some negativities. You've chosen now to be a speaker, but now you've got pressure. You've got to stand in front of people. You have to wear pants. What are some negatives about this? Allow yourself to notice some negatives. Oh, I'm a millionaire. What am I going to do with my money? Look at all this pressure. I've got all these clients. Gosh, they just want all my time. I've got no time. As you choose this, notice some negatives. And now come back right in the middle. Now you've experienced both. Now you're both in the middle. I want you to choose both of them at the same time. Just choose both of them at the same time. Can you see that there's both positive and negatives of both options? Can you see that both options are survivable? Can you see that you'd still be safe either way it goes? Can you allow yourself to do either option? Just choose both of them. Just notice your head back and forth. Choose both. Can you notice both of them? You can still be happy. Can you notice both of them? You can still be abundant. Can you notice with both of them? You can still be in love. Can you notice with both of them? You can still experience everything you want because who creates every single emotion? It's you. It's not the speaking career that creates the emotion. It's you. It's not the lack of the career that creates the negativity. It's you. It's not the relationship with this amazing person that creates a love. It's you. It's not the lack of this relation that creates the negative emotion. It's you. Just notice as you look at all options, wherever you go, there you are. It's you. And as you notice that, keeping your eyes closed, come back to your body and I want you to choose the emotions you're going to live by no matter what. Choose the emotion you're going to live by no matter what happens externally. They can take your money, you're still happy. They can give you a great relationship, you're still happy. They can leave you single, you're still happy. They can put you on the biggest stage in the world, you're still happy. They can never put you on a stage in the world at all, you're still happy. They can give you a great family, you're still happy. They can take it away, you're still fat, ha happy. They can give you an amazing, beautiful body, you're still happy. They can take away your body, you can be limping around, you're still happy. I want you to choose now 
that no external is going to create your internal. You create it no matter what. And just find that little trigger point inside of you and make that choice. Make that choice to just be you, no matter what, to the full, happy, content. And feel into your heart. Drop down into your heart and just feel it. Feel the solidness that it feels like to know that no matter what happens, you can always find this place. It's just, it's everything. Just feel strong, feel confident, feel happy, feel in joy, feel in love with you. Can you take this feeling, however you're feeling good right now, and make it bigger? That's it. Like you blowing up a balloon with every breath, just make it bigger and bigger. And then let the balloon pop like a, a dam breaking and all the water just flooding out, just crazy, huge amount of emotion. Just let it out. You can feel it sort of wash over you. And you're done. Just choose this, open your eyes and come back to me, knowing that there is no external that matters just now. <clears throat> How's that team? Awesome. It is true. Amazing. Freeing. Great. Great. It is. There will be nothing better than the way you feel right now. It's a, it's a tough one for us to learn, isn't it? Even when we know it intellectually. Yeah, we do need to do it more often. Hmm. Yeah, it is. We have been bred to think that now can't be good enough and there has to be a future a future time that's better than this. Is that true? You're really feeling it. That's awesome to hear, Christine. We've, we've, been, we've been taught this through school, through sport, through society, through everything, that it's going to be better when we finish our, our college career. It's going to be better when this when you have this, when you, get, when you get married, when you have this, when you have the house, all advertising is built around this. You cannot have anything that you, anything that you can't have right now. There's nothing. If you can't get it now, nothing will happen that will allow you to get it. Who knows this is true? Type in a yes or true if you get it because it is so, so important. 
And this double bubble exercise is a great one because we trick ourselves into thinking that now is terrible and that there is a future that is better. Yet that is literally the seed that just creates that to never happen. But what happens is, is we have this idea in our minds that we cannot be both motivated and content. And this is the shift from problem solver to creator. And a book I'd love you all to read is by Robert Fritz, The Path of Least Resistance. Fantastic, fantastic book that talks to you about this. Very cool book. Wonderful book, May. I'm glad you've read it too. Wonderful guy. I read, first read this book in 2008. Wonderful book. Yeah. And, and this is the key. The key to it all is to be so in love with everything right now and want more of it. To be so happy with everything you have got and just want it to expand. Just want to just spread it everywhere. That is the truth. That is the truest truth. Oh.